So, hi and welcome back. Today we are in front of my vanity table. I've been doing my experiment for about a week now and it's going quite well. So I thought today I might show you my makeup that I did all of these days, every morning. Which is this one. Also, it's a little worn off because I've been wearing it all day long and I've been in the train and stuff and I just arrived some time ago I spent the weekend at my parents for the Easter holidays so first thing I'm gonna do is take it off and start off fresh doesn't want to come out. Sorry for that. Wait, I just have to check on the camera because my battery is kind of low. Oh great, it still works. Wait a minute, I gotta check whether it's recording at all. Yeah, I'm a little paranoid. So, next thing is the eyebrows. I shaved them off partly, as you can see. So it can define shape better. I think quite some women did that in the 40s. Rita Hayworth, for example. And lipstick. You can hardly see anything of it. There's not much left anymore. <laughs> yeah, this looks kind of stupid, I think. So oh, this is me without any makeup. <laughs> Not too good looking I think. But we'll change that in a minute. Still recording. I'm a lucky girl. Okay, what I start off with every morning is my Bake cream, it's not a BB cream, it's just like for caring for your skin over the day. And I got dry skin, so this is for dry skin. And I just apply that every morning.
this is SPF 15 which in my opinion is a little low so if I go out I will add some uh, sunscreen like with SPF 50 or something like that but I'm not going out anymore today so I'm skipping this so next foundation this is just some drugstore brand just like the other one was from the drugstore too it's called Colon Care Foundation and it's cruelty free I try to um, get all of my products cruelty free if that's possible so we apply foundation I think it's like a uh, neutral one so you can use it with any skin tone they translucent probably next we will take care of the dark circles underneath my eyes I got pretty dark circles um, again drugstore brand it's a concealer but a more pinkish one because that will cover oh I forgot something I pat on the foundation with this little sponge so it will set better okay now we take this the color is more pinkish because that will cover the dark circles better and the color is really good for that but the texture is not so nice unfortunately maybe I should look for a better one I pat this in with my fingers smooth that out I use my fingers most of the time for everything face and now we got some normal concealer this is not the drugstore I got it I don't know I forgot the name but it's a well-known one like they used it on zombie boy to cover up his tattoo so I thought it would cover quite good and it's all right I put that over my other concealer because the texture is way better and here underneath the red patches around my nose and on my nose and that take this egg shaped sponge and massage it in so I will check on the camera again this is great Yeah, they are not quite covered, but as good as I can do it. If you know anything that really works for dark circles, tell me. Because I'm really having issues with that. Okay. What do I do next? Yes. Eyeshadow. This is again the same cruelty free drugstore brand. It's just uh, like an ivory color. I apply it with my fingers too. Ok, 
can do that with a brush as well. Like all over the eyelid. And then we'll take another eyeshadow. It's just the same. So, unfortunately, the battery finally did die on me. I'm sorry for that. But my camera made a sound when it died, which was really helpful. I didn't know it was doing that. I will know for next time. I was just applying my eyeshadow and I want to continue with a dark brown one. And I apply this like to the crease so it's kind of a smoky eye. Let's do that on both the sides. My tongue's twisted. Kind of. I do that with my fingers again. There we go. Are you recording? Oh yes you are. Uh, now, after I've done my eyeshadow, I will do eyeliner. Same drugstore brand, but this was a special edition, so I don't think they will make it anymore. And it's a brown one, because it was uh, likely in the 40s if you had fair hair like not brown or black one that you would using um, eyeliner that would fit your hair color And as my hair is spread right now, you guys, I forgot to part of my face. I am so stupid. Do that in a minute, and the eyeliner is done. Well, so I'm using brown eyeliner because it's more natural in more forties. Like I would have done it in the forties because my hair is red right now. I'm not really that good at applying my eyeliner. Sometimes it's a little better, sometimes it's worse. And at this state, my eyes don't look that bad. They look really good because there's all this brown mess up there. But I promise you, it'll look better soon as I continue doing it and putting on the mascara and stuff but first we gotta have to let the eyeliner dry it's a liquid eyeliner and like normally I do powder my face right after I've done the concealer but I will do it right now because I forgot to do it sorry for that it's just a translucent powder just to mattify the skin and let the makeup set better. Okay. While the eyeliner is drying, I will draw on my eyebrows. 
Um, this is from the same brand I'm using all the time. Uh, it's actually a lip pencil, but I'm using it as a eyebrow pencil. And the color is kind of a natural red color. So first I'm going into these little guys. Then I'm drawing on this shape. like that. And now you can see that the color is a little light on the ends. This is why I will take this dark brown pencil and go over it. There you go. Now it's matching my hair color quite well. Next blush. I once saw in a 40s educational movie that you should apply three dots to your cheek and then blend it. I don't know whether I'm doing it right or not. Oops. What's this? Okay, then mascara. Take an eyelash color. This is my mascara. It's a different brand, but it's drugstore as well and cruelty free. And it's a brown one. Also, really dark brown. It's not that light. It almost looks black, but it's brown. Just apply some mascara. Just can take any. Oops. Sorry, when it's table. Well, mascara, although I think this is really good. I like it. We'll continue buying this. Some bottom lashes as well. And because this is an everyday makeup, I'm not doing anything more to the eyes. No false splashes or anything. And now, like, almost the most important part of every 40s makeup is lipstick. Mine is the Melon by Manic Panic. I don't really like the color and I think it pretty much matches my nails or at least I tried to get a color that would match so apply lipstick I'm not so satisfied with the shape of my lips so I'm trying to overdraw them a little bit on the top and underdraw them a little bit on the bottom so it will look more even but really not much
Seiko to make it last longer I take a tissue and press your lips against it like you kiss it for one or two times it's not that even down here And you do this with your finger. Wipe away the excess. And last but not least, I put on my favorite lip tint, which unfortunately was was a special edition, and I've almost run out of it, so I will have to find something to replace it soon haven't found anything like it yet and you go over it And you gotta let it dry. So there you go. This is my everyday 40s makeup. Where's this student? Where's T? Everyday. Yeah. I like it quite much. It's quite simple. Even though this video might have gotten a little longer. But normally it takes me about 15 minutes or so to get the makeup done if you're in the routine. Well, I hope you like that. See you next time. Bye bye.